what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Well, well, well. The art of her deal. The untold story of Melania Trump has been written, and it's a doozy. Now, there's not a lot of revealing things in the book, but what is revealing is that it has finally been documented. See, we already knew this about her, right? We already knew that she was in it for the money. We knew that. Why else would she be with such a repugnant dude? Like, this dude is orange. Understand what I'm saying, family. That sounds like some type of caricature, you know, a cartoon character or something. You know, she's dating the orange man, right? That sounds like it could be a cartoon, but this is real life, family. The dude is orange. And he's a horrible person. I'm talking about horrible person. Why else would somebody who looks like that be with this dude? In fact, why would any decent human being, period? I'm not saying she's decent, but I'm just saying, why would a decent human, why would a person, just a human being be with him? Money, family, money. So, Washington Post reporter and Pulitzer Prize winner, Mary Jordan, she put the book out and she revealed a number of things, like I said, that we kind of already knew. She was in it for the money. But she talked about how Melania held out on going to the White House after the inauguration when Trump got in. Now, we knew something was up. We already knew it was had something to do with you know, they was, we knew that they were beefing, right? After all, this is the White House. What woman don't want to go into the White House what, and decorate? Think about what I'm saying, fam. Women, vouch for me on this one. Women love to decorate their, house, their homes. Now, you get to move into the ultimate home, the most prized address in America. And... You get to decorate. Who don't want to? Who don't want that privilege? Melania fell back. So now it is being revealed that the reason she did that was not because oh she didn't want to disrupt Barron's schooling. That's the lie they gave, right? She well maybe it could be a little little pinch of truth, but the real reason was. She was trying to negotiate her deal with Trump. She was renegotiating. She said that she wanted to make sure that Barron was treated like the rest of Trump's kids. You got four others. One, I think Tiffany is the one that he don't claim. She's never around. Anyway, she wanted to make sure he was taken care of. That's what she says but 99% of me says, no, no, no. Melania wanted to make sure she was taken care of. Now, she also talked about how after her investigation, she found no evidence that Trump and Melania met at a club during Fashion Week of 1998. Trump's story is that he met her and she was with a more popular model, but he pursued Melania because she looked, she was hotter. Melania didn't want to give him her phone number. And he really wanted her. No evidence that that ever exists. In fact, the fashion house and the, the agency that Melania worked for at the time said that 
her being there at that time did not even add up to their timeline. So again, lies, 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 lies. Now, you know, this is an arrangement. Everybody knows that this is an arranged marriage. Now, if they didn't meet at the nightclub, where did they meet? If I had to take a wild guess, I have no evidence, but I have, if I had to take a wild guess, because they're trying to be secret about this, they don't want to say where they met, but there are places that people can meet one another when like, say a guy is undesirable and he wants to get with a hot chick. There are services out there that one can partake in. So who knows where they actually met? Could it have been in a hotel room somewhere in Spain, Italy, Madrid, Fifth Ward, Texas? Perhaps in an alley in New York by the dumpster. I wonder where they really met. They're ashamed to say publicly. You know, they sleep in separate rooms in the White House. This is not a guess. This is what's been reported. They say that they sleep. It's reported that they sleep in separate rooms in the White House and when they're on the road. So it's, it's not really a love affair. It's an arrangement. Which tells you that Melania is more like Trump than one could ever imagine. The art of the deal, her art of the deal. She knows who Trump is. She knows how repugnant this guy is. She knows how disgusting he is to look at. Yet, she wanted to secure the bag at any cost. And she went for it and never looked back. She went for the bag. Now, knowing that that's who Trump really is, what does that say about Melania? They deserve each other. At the end of the day, when I look into those little puppy eyes and she looks so sad, having to walk with him, hold hands with him, pretend to kiss him on the cheek and like it, I can't say that I feel sorry for her. In fact, I can say with a straight face, I feel nothing. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.